couldn't hear you over the sound of my solo celebrating. You see, another election season has come and gone, and it's cause to celebrate because we passed! Hallelujah! Yeah, I don't smoke, and this law change won't cause me to, but yay, weed! No more wandering around the streets of Boston to be harassed by the legalized weed crowd. To commemorate this momentous moment in American history, I've decided that this episode of As Failed on TV, we're going to talk about drug PSAs. I remember being a little kid, and every facet of my life was some sort of warning against drugs. I would go to school, and they would play that cartoon All-Stars movie from 1990. Do you remember that movie? Where Satan tried to get this kid to do the ganj, and Alf had to tell him to knock that shit off? They would call in the people from D.A.R.E., drop everything and read, that was Deer. D.A.R.E. was the drug abuse resistance education, and their mascot was Scruff McGruff, you know, take a bite out of cocaine. I still think... To this day, the best deterrent I ever had against drugs was my father, because he would tell me that if he ever caught me doing drugs, he would cut me up into little tiny pieces and then use me as bait when he went fishing. He would say this to an 11-year-old child, and I mean, I never did drugs, so I mean, I guess he wins. So, for today's episode, we're going to... What? JonTron just did an episode on drug PSAs? You mean to tell me the guy that people constantly accuse me of ripping off just covered the subject I'm covering today. I wrote this script months ago. <sighs> you know, ain't that just a pickled fucking peach? Well, I guess we're gonna have to call an audible, that's sports term, and since I'm mad, it's gonna be about something gross. <laughs> Y'all brought this on yourselves, you fed his delusions instead of mine. When your grip is starting to slip, handling nail clippers can be tough. That's right, you stupid idiots. Today we're going to be talking about clipping your nails. You could have had a well-thought-out, intensely researched episode on drugs and drug PSAs, but nope. You're going to be getting an episode on nail clippings. Enjoy! Clip too closely and ouch! Oh, well done, Mom of the Year. Just shove your kid's entire finger into the nail clippers. You're joining the Brotherhood of Assassins whether you like it or not. Roto Clipper, the fast, easy way to trim and file your nails. That's, that's what we consider fast, eh? You know, if I didn't think it would be the most boring thing in the world, I could film myself clipping all of my fingernails quicker than it takes for this commercial to even run. Because you know how long it takes to clip a nail? That long. In seconds, you have a perfectly trimmed nail, just like an electric emery board. Yo, it's really hard to believe you when you say, in seconds, when you have to jump cut four times to prove that point. Clippings are nasty. Not anymore. Yeah, just grind your nails into a fine powder that gets all over your fingers, as we've already demonstrated in this very commercial. It's like body waste glitter. What's wrong with that? Now you can do arts and crafts projects with your kids. It's hard to see when you clip your nails. Excuse me? It's hard to see when you clip your nail. Then you have poor eyesight. There's no correlation between those two things. That's like saying I bought this remote control to control my TV, which is great because I can't smell a thing. With Roto Clipper, you can trim your nails without glasses. And then when you're done, you can use your nail trimmers as a reading light. I gotta tell you, when the power goes off and I can't see a thing, the first thing I gotta do is clip my nails. And I can't because it's dark, so thank the gods above that Roto Clipper has a built-in light. Thanks, Roto Clipper. Clipping your nails is a struggle. I got nothing. I ain't got nothing for that. I ain't got one shit bit of fucking clue what she's trying to do there. It's like she's trying to clip fucking adamantium. What the hell is she doing? And don't try and tell me, oh, Chris, she's got arthritis and things are just difficult for her. You know, I don't care what you say. This saw blade nail filer isn't going to help her at all. Because if she's doing, if she can't do this, I'll grant you, this might be difficult for her. But if she's using this product, she's going to be rotating her wrist all around to file the goddamn thing down. There's the buttons she got to press to turn the fucking thing on. And she got the button to turn on the lights because you know she can't see because she got cataracts. This thing will not help her at all. Which one is worse? Or which one's worse? Did rough nails snag your stocking? Your rough, hairy ass legs can snag your stocking instead. Uh, I'm getting frustrated over nail clippers. Kids will be chipper when they use Roto Clipper. <laughs> oh man, is that true? If there is one thing I know about kids, it's that they love sitting still for minutes at a time while their nails get ground into dust before them. What's the word that they use? Chipper? Oh, spot on with that one. Cutting my son's nails used to be a battle, but with the Roto Clipper, it's so fun. He actually wants to trim his nails now. Okay, so there's two possibilities as to what 
we're witnessing right now. Either these people's brains are so small that if you were to bowl them into a drinking straw, it would look like a kernel of corn rolling into a storm drain, or they are on heaps and heaps of drugs. You want a drug PSA? Here it is. Do you find clipping your nails to be unexciting? Good! Because not everything in life gets to be chipper and wonderful. Sometimes things are miserable and mundane, and they should be. Because if everything were bright, colorful, and wonderful, you'd go out of your mind nuts because you wouldn't have any context for what it actually meant. Sometimes we have to accept that there are things in life that are boring and no fun, so that way when we get to experience the things that are exciting and that are fun, we have a greater appreciation. So to put yourself in that mindset, smoke a blunt and calm down, you bunch of goddamn weirdos. They did it in 1990, and we got cartoon all-stars to the rescue out of it. There's a million wild and wonderful ways to say no to not doing drugs. That's a double negative, I know, but I don't care, because I'm on drugs. I'm Chris the Nerd, and thanks for watching this episode of Ass Failed on TV. I'm really not on drugs, though, so please don't use me as fish bait.